Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another top 5 video for you today. Today I'm going to be going over my top 5 favorite blitzes. These are the 5 uh, fastest blitzes that, that get the most heat, uh, blitzes that um, take the least amount of actual blitzers to have success, uh, you know, things like that. This is pretty much going to be the top 5 that I put out that are still working to this point in the year, uh, but the top 5 that I put out in, uh, in Madden 20. All these plays can be found in the exact same uh, defensive ebook, the defensive books from the Jets is going to have all five plays in this particular video. So if you want to use the same playbook I'm using, it's going to be the Jets. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, do me a favor to like button and let me know in the comments section. Starting off, we're going to start off with the nickel double A gap 245. Now this will work in pretty much any double A gap, but this is the one that I use in particular. And the play itself, there's two plays. It's the nickel dog two and the nickel overload three. They're essentially the exact same thing. It's just that, you know, one's a cover three, one's a cover two. But the setup is identical. All you really have to do is bring this blitz cornerback who's all the way out here on this particular play i want to bring him all the way in to the qb contain lane then the qb contain i'm gonna hit lb rb if you're on xbox if you're on playstation it's l1 r1 and you can see right here this guy just gets around the cornerback that's all due to the qb contain qb contain you're going to see in just about every single blitz that i put in this video it just makes them so much better as you can see right here he just kind of i mean he's i'm ha it's a five-man blitz and we have uh, I think six blockers or the five blockers. It doesn't really matter though. Bottom line, guy comes around free, whether it's even or not. You're going to have to have additional blockers on the offensive side to have any success against this particular play. So, like I said though, you can do this in the cover two and the cover three. Me personally, I switch it up. I just keep switching from back and forth between the two. Uh, as you can see here, this is a cover three. It looks like it could easily be a cover two. Your opponent's never really going to know exactly what they're looking at, and you're going to have success if you keep mixing it up so they can't really uh, diagnose it and, uh, you know, have success one way or the other it also is pretty decent against the runs you can see right here anytime you have a free defender flying around the edge like that he's gonna have a lot of success when it comes to stopping uh run plays as well as pass plays so like i said just to show the qb uh, show the nickel dog two one time uh have success like i said i i mix these two in pretty exclusively personally the cover three is my favorite if it's a uh anything between a first and ten to a third and ten i might go cover two uh but once it gets like third and long i'm definitely going to the cover three because it just has better deep coverage than the cover two so the cover two is more the base defense of the two and the cover three is more of the third and long fourth and long variety anytime they have to go 12 or 15 yards or more i'm going to switch over to the cover three because it's just a better deep coverage play so that's it for the first like i said this is i'm really showing two but that's really number five so moving on to number four uh we have what is something that i've been using really as a run defense and a pass defense as a cover one keeping contained out of the 3-4 bear. Now, this particular play is also a really good run defense, but I'm going to focus on the pass defense side of it. All you really have to do to set this play up is just spread everything, spread linebackers, spread um, the defensive line, and then bring whoever is using the running back over the uh, right in front of them, just over the guard uh, right in front of them, and that's typically going to have a really good effect to get pressure around the edge, as you can see right here. Now, this is a five-man blitz. A lot of the plays I'm going to show in this video today are only a five-man blitz, but you can see, I mean, the running back, even though he play action as the running back, is going to turn to a blocker. So I think, ultimately, this is a seven-man blocking. Uh, as, as you can see, I mean, we had a double team from the tight end uh, on the uh, on the one defensive end, but like I said, five against seven blocking, and you're going to have success. That's the thing about a lot of these blitzes. They're going to have success um, up to, I mean, this next play, this guy's going to be blocking just about everybody on his offense. As you can see right here, he's just trying to load up as he's uh, calling audibles. He's just loading up on his blocking. Doesn't matter. Both running backs are blocking. The QB contain just comes in super fast. We're going to go ahead and reverse that and look at that one more time. Like I said, he's he's blocking everybody. He's only sending Randy Moss, uh, who has his X Factor activated Moss on. He's just sending him deep, trying to make a play with that one guy, blocking everybody else. So nine guys blocking against five guys, and they pick it up. I mean, they don't pick it up. I mean, it's just, it's that good. You know what I mean? It's, it's really good blitz. So this is also going to be very successful. Anybody that's under center, running an under center offense quite a bit, because like I said, it's also very good against the run. So people under center are typically going to be running the ball quite a bit. So you really can't go wrong. Uh, as you can see how fast this comes in off the edge. And like I said, once again, I mean, the, the blocking's there. The running back just totally whiffs. And I really think that the uh, the, the QB contain, I think, is pretty glitchy when it comes to rock, running backs blocking. I really think that when you man a running back in this game, 
and have a QB contain, it's just it just dumbs them out. I don't know what it is. But since I'm I'm in the area of the running back, I'm man to the running back, a lot of times I just feel like he misses and these guys come off the edge. Now, in this next particular play, you can see right here, he's coming off the edge on the opposite side. So you're going to get pressure on both sides. This formation with the three tight ends to one side typically has a lot of problems as far as the defensive alignment usually automatically shifts the defensive alignment. This defense doesn't have that problem, which is really cool. So we have a three tight end set that typically shifts alignment. It doesn't do it this defense. So that's just one more perk uh, to this defense, which makes it really good. Now, the next play is a twofer once again. We're in the big nickel over G, and the plays I'm going to be looking at are going to be the SS Blitz 2 and the SS Blitz 3, which I'll show in a minute. Same rules apply as the previous nickel 245 uh, double A gap. Um, cover 2 is more like the base defense, a little bit better against the run. Cover 3 is more like the third and long, fourth and long variety. I'll pull out the cover 3. So here we are in first and 10, like I said, base defense. All I'm going to do, bring this guy down to QB contain once again, pinch my defensive line, and then I want to bring down one of these users into the gap from across the way as you can see right here i mean it just basically confuses the tackle when he comes around the edge free so five on five you can see i had success there like i said the ss blitz three exact same setup uh empty backfield is going to be murder as you can see right here i mean i just come over the center this time just to set up quickly and once again we're having the exact same results now this play, unlike the uh, 245 double A gap, this is in every single playbook. We're going to go right back to the SS Blitz 2. This formation, and that's one of the reasons it's higher on this list, on this ranking, is because you can find this in any playbook and it's going to have success. Here you can see he's actually blocking 7 to try to pick this up. You get really good coverage, which is one of the things that also makes uh, this particular formation as good as it gets. And then you can see right here, two tight ends on one side, running back blocking. Once again, I mean, he just run, he just runs right around the running back. Anytime you have a, the QB contain just for some reason has very good success as far as evading the running backs on blocking assignments as you can see right there so the next play is just an all-out blitz it's the db sting this is one of my real go-to's when it comes to third and long uh fourth and long you just can't these cornerbacks they come in so fast you really can't do anything about it all i'm going to do once again is i'm just going to keep you contained bring in these uh, cornerbacks the speed coming off the edge of these cornerbacks are typically going to be lights out you can see right here we actually get a turnover they both come off i didn't get both into the qb contained if i have time i typically want to draw them both into the qb contained but you don't always have time because um you know this is it just takes a little bit of time to get the blitz set up and a lot of people typically will make their adjustments they're going to know what the defense is you know what i mean it's not a defense you can really hide now the db sting to buzz is also a really good play to run opposite this because if your opponent sees the alignment and they think they're seeing a man coverage, a lot of times when you set this up, um, you'll just see that they're going to throw right into these zones. So I'll mix these in when somebody thinks they know I'm running a man coverage. I'll mix this in. Now, the setup's a little bit different. You have to hit uh, you know, D-pad to the left and down, D-pad to the right and down because you have to swap um, the uh, the outside guys. I mean, as far as the QB contain goes on the outside, you got to do that exact same way. you got to bring these guys into the QB contain one more time. But you have to basically flip the linemen and the linebackers in the center. As you can see right here, we have that effect that we want where they're just basically they think they're seeing a man coverage you're going to be throwing into a lot of zones if you mix these two in together properly so to me you know this is a, I, I, without a doubt the db sting is the best way to go like i said it's so fast there's really no time to think or to drop back and throw you're going to get sacked right away uh, to the point where that's definitely my favorite play from these two plays but like i said mixing the db sting uh, just to give them uh, something to think about so they can't be hitting you with quick slants and that brings me to the last play, my number one play, the Mike Blitz Zero. This is my go-to base defense. It's a six-man blitz, but it's easily run as a five-man. If I want to run as a six-man, I just need to take this safety slash middle linebacker and move him over just a little bit so that if he does come in unblocked, I mean, if you have him right behind the, uh, the defensive tackle, a lot of times he can lose his acceleration trying to get around the defensive tackle if he runs into the defensive tackle. Then I typically want to bring this guy down here to be the user, whoever's using the running back. I typically want to be the middle linebacker. Sometimes I'll bring him all the way into the gap, trying to pull a blocker trying to pull this guard out of his assignments you can see right there he jumps up towards me shifts the paradigm of the other uh, offensive blocking scheme and we get that uh, that qb contain in once again if they're running a empty backfield this is going to be murder once again qb contain go ahead and just i'm spreading everything once again it's very similar to some of the other plays spread the linebacker spread the defensive line i'm going to basically just try to bait this guard get the defensive end off the edge quick and then i'm going to try to drop right under some of these throwing lanes this play right here whenever somebody runs an empty backfield 
I get so many picks running this exact same setup. So many picks, so many sacks. When people go empty backfield on me, you're going to see it right here. Like I said, just you know, I'm just dropping right into the first lane that I see. People typically will only throw a slant of one kind or the other, and it's going to be a pick six. I get so many pick sixes in my gameplay. I'm sure you've seen me do that. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see uh, more videos like this, more defensive uh, videos like this, do me a favor to like button and let me know in the comment section. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.